Hi, my name is Jared. In this video, I'll demonstrate the construction of a tennis ball roller and a few of its uses as a therapeutic self-care prop. To start out with, you'll need two tennis balls and a sock. So you want to place tennis balls into the sock, bring them all the way down to the end, and then tie a knot keeping them close together. Once you have your knot in place, scratch it down, and there you go, tennis ball roller. So, this goes to my lower back. If you've never done this before, I'm going to come down slowly. Uh, there's usually a lot going on in people's lower backs. So as soon as you lay on top, when you place the tennis ball where like a belt would go, just like above the hip bone, assess, what does this feel? How does this feel like? Is it comfortable? Does it feel like it's massaging? The point of this is to create some space for movement to happen a little bit easier. Imagine as if your lower back is kind of like a traffic jam. There's just tight muscles everywhere and no one has any space to move. So you're massaging an open space. So kind of wiggle back and forth and you can bring a knee into your chest and that changes the angle of what you're feeling. Your other leg can be long. Breathe. Changing legs, you'll feel a difference in where the pressure goes. I like this prop because it's really portable. It travels well with you, and this is something I bring in my carry on. <laughs> Massage out in the middle of the flight. Cool. You know you're ready to move on once it feels like you've made this. Space, like honestly, your body kind of spreads out around it. And then you want to start to roll up your spine. You can be in a partial setup where you can be totally flat, the legs can be long. You're checking out your individual vertebra. So, what does your spine feel like? What do you notice? Where is your tension? Breathe. Exhale out to these knots. Yeah. Once you find a spot that works for you, drop the knees to a side, to the other side. You're finding all the angles. You can be here for as little as long as you like. You're in charge of how much pressure and where. So. Figure out what you want with your back. Where is it tight? How can you open it? Once the tennis balls are between your shoulder blades, more in the mid-back area, move your arms in ways to create the stretch. This is a technique called pin hand stretch, which means that we pin down a spot in the back, a spot in whatever, you create a stretch to that spot. It's a, a way to aim the stretch. Oh, you flap your arms like a bird. You can keep elbows bent. You can lift the hips for more body weight to the upper back. Interlace the hands, reach the fingers away. That changes the angle of pressure to be more, it's kind of like you're squeezing the knots between your shoulder blades and the tennis balls. And slowly roll down a few inches, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. Whew. When you settle in one spot, it's considered a little bit more of a gravity stretch. And the point of that is to uh, 
<sighs> prop yourself up in some way that gravity stretches you. It teaches your muscles how to be passive, how they relax, which is difficult. <laughs> That's a difficult skill. <sighs> With every breath, can you feel the stretch happen from within? <sighs> That's your lungs stretching out your ribs from the inside. And from here, we want to find the space that connects the shoulders to the neck. So you're going to lift up the hip, and then you shrug the shoulders, kind of shimmy side to side. If you work at a computer a lot, if you carry a baby, like a, like a five-week-old child, so... I've been feeling this spot a lot. <sighs> Just wants to be held all the time. <laughs> this is the way to release all that tension. <sighs> cool. Last spot. The neck. For this, you'll need some sort of lift. So, reach for a yoga block, or if you have a book, or you can fold up a towel, or really just some way to find some lift. As we lay back down, place hands fall under our neck. Uh, yeah. If you're just watching right now instead of partaking, this is the stuff. <laughs> If you only do one thing with the tennis ball, let this be it. This is what I do at the end of the day. I put this on top of my pillow, or if I'm going to go for a full session, I'll just do what I'm doing now. But even if I'm just laying like this in my bed, with this under my neck, relaxing the day away so that I can sleep a little bit more soundly, that's uh, so worth it. Best five minutes of the day sometimes. So you can be active and pin and stretch, or you can be passive, find a spot and just settle in. If you have headaches, then you want to go up pretty high near the occiput. So as high as it feels comfortable, and then place your hands, the heels of your hands on just above your eyebrows, in your temple area, and your hands just drag down. Headaches tend to affect the jaw muscles, and way up here under the heels of your hand, it's called the temporalis muscle. And uh, this is where we clench our jaw. If you kind of squeeze your jaw, you can feel it. And that's how you know you're on the right spot. Uh, extra points for doing some fish tail circles. This can totally like stunt the headache when you, if you can catch it early enough. And if you are full-fledged headache, doing this with like an ice pack on your forehead introduces some hydrotherapy. And at some point, you'll feel your jaw release. It'll be kind of like it lower down a half an inch. And then bliss out and go to sleep. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you're feeling the benefits of stretching with me. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.